Ermion. Most druids in Skellige differ from the deeply rooted continental stereotype of a grey bearded old man in white robes, bowing before sacred oaks, taming wyverns, and pestering local lords with petitions to add yet another species to the list of protected beasts. Ermion, Geralt's old acquaintance, was no exception in this regard. This stiff bearded, spindly man was the leader of the druid circle in Skellige. He was also Jarl Krakankrate's advisor on matters of magic and the mystical, as well as on any and all issues requiring more refinement than a well-timed uppercut or a hard-swung axe. Ermion was known to be obstinate, and to have a tendency, quite rare in Skellige, to consider all possible consequences of a particular course of action before it was undertaken. All this meant that conversing with him demanded a considerable amount of time and patience. Given all this, one can hardly be surprised that Yennefer and Geralt's rash and highly irresponsible actions regarding the magic anomaly, stealing a priceless artifact from a private chamber being first among them, put Hermion quite out of sorts. However, despite his difficult character and his somewhat testy relationship with Geralt, Ermion agreed at once to travel to Kaer Morhen and help defend Ciri from the Wild Hunt's forces. When persuasion and reason failed, Ermion would, as a last resort, turn to violence, and then he became a foe to be reckoned with. Madman Lugos found this out personally when, in a fit of rage, he attacked Ermion and Geralt. As they had in the past, Witcher and Druid stood side by side and fought a common enemy.